Hello everyone, how's it going? I hope you all are doing amazing. If you're new here, hello, welcome to my channel. I'm the Intuitive Rose, nice to meet you. If you're not new here, hello and welcome back. I'm so happy you joined me again today. So today, y'all, we're going to do another pick a card reading on this topic. So feel free to choose between pile number one, pile number two, and pile number three, all right? And if you feel drawn to, feel free to choose more than one. That's, again, only if you feel drawn to. So we have pile number one, pile number two, and pile number three. Let's begin. All right, so if you chose pawn number one, this is your reading, pawn number one. So let's see, what is the gossip on you? All right, do keep in mind that this reading will have two parts to it. The first part is the part that you're listening to now. And then the second part will be available on Patreon. All right, so we have four cards already. We have nine of pentacles, the knight of pentacles, judgment, and eight of pentacles. So I'm already getting this has something to do with um, the amount of work that you've been doing how hard you have been having to work. I just noticed something too. I just started recording and this is when I start paying attention to all the noise like around me. There's someone outside that is um, leaf blowing. So this is coming up too as possible distractions as well. The gossip on you is that there may be individuals around you that has been trying to intentionally like bring burden to your life, um, bring downfall into your life. Okay, this can even be when it comes towards your work. Maybe some of you work from um, home or, um, you know, maybe you own a business, you're trying to create a business. This can even be when you are trying to, again, get ready for work, go to work. All right, is someone trying to interfere, someone trying to disturb your peace, your silence. This can even be... Um, like maybe messing with, you know, your schedule. I don't know. The judgment card tells me that someone is trying to cause a disruption. All right. But the gossip on you, the nine of pentacles and knight of pentacles, this tells me that you have been working very hard and also very independently, regardless of if you're in a connection um, in a household where, you know, maybe you live with a lot of people or you have a roommate. I see that you have been having to supply everything for yourself or you supply um, you know, the most, you know, take it how it may resonate. This is the gossip on you. I see with this eight of pentacles too, like you have been maybe feeling, um, very like overworked or you've been feeling pressured to continue doing something. I see the gossip on you is that you're about to stop. You're thinking about stopping or this could even be what's coming in for you. All right. The eight of pentacles, he just looks tired. He looks like he's had enough. This could also talk about not getting the, um, like what you need in order to continue this hard work, okay? I'm not sure if you guys can hear the noise. Yeah, so there's, and look, even that, y'all, I can't even make this up. Spirit play, but <laughs> there could be someone that's really trying to play with your money, all right? And you want to know what's so interesting? I just did channel messages for my other platform, and I was getting that message about there's a true hater around you, you may know this person. You may live with this person. Um, you may talk to this person. Something like this here. Someone is jealous about the money that you have coming in for you. Someone does not want you to have that title or, you know, um, be seen as the supplier or seen as the breadwinner or seen as the the one who is an entrepreneur. Something like this here. I sense this is the gossip on you. There could actually be someone trying to tarnish your name at this moment too like someone is gossiping negatively behind your back but I do see that you are coming up as someone that works very hard okay you're also trying to stay concentrated stay focused but I see there is disruptions there is disturbances that you're having a hard time moving away from all right and this is the gossip but I do see there's an ending approaching soon it could be with a Virgo um two Virgos maybe okay I even see Leo and Aries take it how it may resonate but let's see we're gonna pull more cards seven of wands oh my gosh page of wands there's so much earth and fire 
Maybe Earth sign too. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. Seven of Wands, Page of Wands. The gossip on you is that you are having to put your foot down right now. Yeah. For some reason, I'm hearing punk. So I don't know if someone may have called you a punk or maybe someone is, um, you know, gossiping about the fact that you're afraid to stick up, you know, to this person. This could be a bully, you guys. This could be someone that maybe you look up to, like, for example, maybe an elder. For some of you, this could even be like a woman in your life, a wife. OK, take it how it may resonate. I see you have this energy of trying to remain very diligent, um, very respectful. OK, so there could be a scenario here where someone is being disrespectful to you. However, you're still, you know, being the bigger person. You're still, you know, being respectful towards them. But I see with this judgment card here, they're not doing the same. All right. So the gossip on you is that you are having to step into this seven of wands energy to this person. All right. This can even be like towards a boss. All right. Letting someone know, um, make it very clear to someone. This is the gossip. There is this energy of what you need to do right now. OK, but spirit also wants to, you know, highlight the things that you are doing for yourself. OK, again, you are working very hard, but there's something that you are in need of doing. OK, it's like, yeah, you're working hard, but there's something that you need to really focus on. There's something that you need to um, talk about, discuss something like this here. There's something that is kind of being put on hold. All right. And spirit is like, this cannot be put on hold anymore because it, it's possible. It could be interfering or it could possibly cause an interference in this eight of pentacles. And this is something that you're working towards working on, or this could actually be your work, you guys. Okay. Yeah. There's something very toxic about this self-discipline. Six of Wands. All right. The gossip on you is a lot of people feel like you are someone that you you offer a lot. OK, you're very talented. You're very uh, skilled as well. The Eight of Pentacles. For some reason, I'm thinking of Bob the Builder. So you could be someone that likes to fix things up. All right. You make things look new again. Or, you know, the gossip on you is that you make people feel like brand new. All right. You could really offer insight as well. All right. The Knight of Pentacles. This tells me like you have valuable things to offer this could be wisdom you guys this could be financial advice this could be networking opportunities maybe you put people on to jobs you put in a word to your manager you know um you help people you know get the cheapest price for something it's, it's something like this here i see you got contacts networks okay that you help people you know that you care about um, you know, when they need it, I see this here and this is the gossip on you. You are known for someone like this, but the six of wands. Why? I don't know why I feel like this is like two of pentacles. There's something that, you know, you may not discuss or show on the outside, but the gossip on you is that there is definitely something going on in your inner world that is needing to be addressed right now. It's very significant. It's very important. And I see you putting it on hold. All right. But it's like something cannot be put on hold anymore all right the gossip on you is that you are having to make a decision and it may include you having to also go into your savings for some of you okay yeah your savings or this may include you you know maybe applying for like a loan or something making a huge investment yeah the emperor it's like you you have to make a huge judgment call all right you're needing to take action towards something in your life and this will bring more balance to you okay and this is the gossip all right so we're going to actually jump to part number two if this is resonating with you so far pot number one come on over to patreon okay all right so if you chose pot number two this is your reading pot number two so let's see what is the gossip on you all right do keep in mind that this reading will have two parts to it the first part is the part that you're listening to now and then the second part will be available on patreon okay we have judgment. What the world? This came out in the last pile. Uh oh. All right. Temperance, judgment. The gossip on you is that you could be needing to complete something for the last time. Um. Yeah, I'm hearing almost there. What's that song? Um, almost there. That's by a, a cartoon. Um. What is it? The Princess and the Frog. That could be relevant. Judgment and temperance. This is also major arcana's. 214 2014 could be relevant the year 2014 could be relevant 
All right, I'm dropping cards. We have the moon. Three major arcanas. Okay, the gossip on you is that there's something big going on in your life right now. The moon being the last card tells me that uh, maybe this is something that was once in the dark. Now it's coming out to the light. Five of Pentacles. Some of you guys, you may not be trying to... Hmm, hold on. Five of Pentacles. Five of Pentacles. Seven of Pentacles. The gossip on you is that there could be something going on in your life with somebody that you are trying to keep hidden under cover um the moon card i there's no way you can there's literally no way the judgment temperance someone is being judged already all right and it's five pentacles and you can't help this person you literally cannot help this person and this is the gossip all right i see you may be trying to rescue someone you may be trying to help someone's you know Maybe reputation or something. You're trying to save someone from their own problems. But Ponomer 2, I'm here to tell you that you cannot save this person. You cannot. The judgment card was the first card. This tells me they're already in a period of judgment. They may be receiving karma at this time. And the gossip on you is that you could be trying to help them out. Like the temperance. You could be trying to make things look like something else than what it really is. Like trying to fabricate things. Or um, this could also talk about enabling behavior. Okay. The moon card is like, no, this is out. The cat's out the bag. Okay. And I just literally wrote this channel message on one of my other platforms. I just wrote this. Um, it was for, what signs was it for? It was for Pisces, Aquarius, Taurus, and Virgo, I think. Yeah. So maybe those signs is relevant, okay? Yeah. So it's possible... You could be trying to rescue someone right now. You could be trying to save someone. Honestly, you are actually coming in as a savior. Okay, the temperance, you could really be playing someone's angel right now. But the problem is that this person is not appreciating you. The five of pentacles shows this person being out in the cold and this person is walking beside them. They're not even acknowledging them. They're not even acknowledging that, you know, they're trying to walk beside me. They're trying to keep me company. They're trying to, you know, be there for me. Someone is not acknowledging what you are being in their life. And I'm hearing superpower. So it's like you really are coming in as this person's help and rescue, but they are not appreciating you. They are not helping you. Um, they are not making you feel valued. Okay. And that's a reason. I feel like the gossip on you is that you really are in need of saving yourself right now and letting someone else you know sit in their own doing okay this is the energy of like reaping what you sow and it's like someone is getting what they have um you know been sowing okay someone could actually sow or maybe something needs to be sown i don't know there could also be an energy of someone needing to sell a house too okay i'm hearing foreclosure we have three of y'all we got three of swords i can't i cannot Three of Swords is like someone repeatedly hurting you, repeatedly showing you their intentions, repeatedly, you know, backstabbing you. All right. The gossip on you is that you really are in need of letting someone go. OK, you're in need of letting someone deal with their own problems. I'm hearing someone got issues. I'm hearing that song now. Um, I got issues. And one of them is how bad I need you. So yeah, there could really be a scenario where your heart is involved. But the problem is, is that your heart keeps getting torn to pieces by this person. And this is the gossip. Like you're letting someone just hurt you repeatedly, Panama 2. I don't know what's going on with today's energy. Y'all, I don't know. But Spirit has been literally delivering these harsh truth, tough love it is what it is messages. Even on my other platform, I was like, oh my gosh, like these are a little triggering spirit. So you may be triggered right now. The, this is the gossip on you. There is really something in your life that's taking place. It's major. Like this will really cause a life changing experience for you. And I feel like you guys are trying to disrupt it like you're trying to disrupt this ending or you're trying to disrupt this judgment call on someone but it's like no because if you do that it's like their karma is gonna be your karma be a part of your karma okay yeah 
it, it's reminding me of that scene when like God repeatedly shows you, you know, who this person is. And I don't know, this, <laughs> I don't know word for word, but hopefully y'all get the message. But it's something like this here. The gossip on you is that someone has been shown to you multiple times. Someone's intentions have been shown to you multiple times. I feel like someone came from pot number one looking for a different message. But this is the same message that I got in pot number one. There's a lot of pain and heartbreak. And I feel like your emotions and um, feelings are kind of clouding your judgment right now. And this is the gossip. Someone is really like praying for you. The temperance is like they're praying for you. They're trying to... Um, they're trying to pray for you to wake up to something. The moon card could talk about being asleep, but it's like, no, you cannot be asleep. You cannot. There's something here that's already out. Yeah. Um, someone here could also be sick. Okay. This is the gossip. An illness. Um, oh, Lordy. Page of Swords. I'm getting this message like how many times do we have to tell you? How many times do we have to show you? So something is being repeatedly shown to you, love. Repeatedly. And there's like emphasis. Like, come on now. Come on now. Be because I feel like there's something about to take place. This judgment card here is like the final judgment. So someone is really receiving their karma in their, in their life right now. And... You're being advised and warned to let this person go, leave this person alone, um, distance yourself because it's a scenario here where their karma could become yours. I don't know. Three of Swords. This could also talk about like maybe um, financial matters or something like maybe something that they once owed is now going to be your debt. I don't know. Oh, my gosh. Spirit. Four of Wands. These are the same cards that came out in pot number one. So this is the same message. The gossip on you is that someone is having to tell you the same thing over and over. And they want you to, to understand. I feel like there's really someone trying to deliver a tough love message to you. Okay. And someone's also really praying for, you know... God to show you something, your angels to show you something, you know, this can even be your ancestors. Maybe you have passed on loved ones. You may even be receiving dreams from your passed on loved ones. This is not, no, this is real. Like they're coming to you, delivering you a message. Okay. I sense a warning here. Okay. Leave something alone. Leave someone out of it. Um, let someone go, leave it be. I don't know. Those are the key words that I'm getting. If this is resonating with you, pot number two, come on over to Patreon, okay? All right, so if you chose pot number three, this is your reading, pot number three. So let's see, what is the gossip on you, all right? Do keep in mind that this reading will have two parts to it. The first part is the part that you're listening to now. And then the second part will be available on Patreon, okay? So we have the Magician. Ooh, Seven of Swords. All right, it looks like... All right. For some reason, I'm hearing powerful and I'm hearing thief of the night. OK, so the gossip on you is that you could have made a very powerful move, like without no one knowing. OK, you could have definitely been planning, plotting something and something worked out in your favor. But the seven of swords tells me like this was hidden or, you know, someone is now waking up to something that you did. OK, yeah. And the magician, it's like you're walking away with the upper hand or you are walking away being the winner. Okay, I hope that is making sense. This is the gossip, though. I see there's also a new journey that you're ready for. Okay, you may feel like your life is changing or there's a change that's approaching. That is for a reason. Okay, because I see it's coming. But the seven of swords tells me. This is telling me that there may also be something in your life that you are going to not be able to hide. Okay, the magician, maybe you're trying to manifest something like powerful. Uh, this could be a big win. This could be like, for example, say a lottery win. Okay, um, you're not going to be able to hide this win. Okay, I see two with these two cards here. You're not meant to hide it. All right. Spirit wants to make it very clear that the enemies or the frenemies, the people in your family that doubted you, that that wanted to see you fail. 
they they're going to get to have a front row seat to this success that you have to this win that you have in your life the magician this is telling me this is your energy like you are making things happen you're making things happen and maybe for the longest you have been hiding them you're somebody that you like to keep your wins in secret you're very humble this is the gossip on you but it's like what Spirit is saying with the Seven of Swords is like there's too many people that, that's watching you behind your back. There's too many people that talk negatively about you behind your back. So it's like they're not going to be able to get away with this. Okay, so it's like a front row seat to your success. Okay, yeah. Queen of Pentacles is in the back of the deck. I see you making stuff happen. This is really giving wealth. Okay, Queen of Pentacles, this could also talk about... Um, being comfortable in life, like really being able to have like those those things that we take for granted in life. And it's so interesting. I came across this post a while ago. This was probably like a couple days ago. And it was this post that said something about like the true luxuries in life. I remember it being like six or seven things listed. But the one thing that stood out to me was a slow easy morning okay because if you think about it that's like the start of your day that's really what could decipher how your day go okay and like I was just like oh my gosh that's so true like I love you know having a easy slow relaxed morning me being in control of what my day consists of so this is what's going on here the gossip on you is that you could be having a true luxury Okay, that other people may really want or other people see that you have that's like a luxury. Okay, and I see that you are someone that you you don't take these things for granted. You're very appreciative. You're very grateful. The Queen of Pentacles tells me that you are very nurturing too. you nurture whatever this is that brings this in for you. This could also be who you are as a person. Okay, you give back, you know, you're someone that, you know, you help out whatever you can do, okay? You also help yourself. You show up for yourself. You put in the work. You put in the effort, okay? This could talk about career-wise, okay? So I see you being blessed, and this is the gossip on you. The magician, you are looking very magical right now, okay? Looking very powerful, okay? And people are just like, how the heck are you doing this? Like, when did you think of this? Where did you come up with this? How did you, how did you come up with that idea, okay? Yeah, and this is the gossip on you. Like, you're making stuff happen, pawn number three. Ten of Cups. I can't make it up. I can't make it up. <laughs> the Hermit's in the back of the deck. So why Seven of Swords and the Hermit? This tells me you have a lot of people that is, like, eyeing you, okay? The Ten of Cups, too, this tells me that you've been maybe a lot more happy lately, okay? Something is also becoming more familiar. Maybe this could also be like you're adapting to something. You're adjusting to something new in your life. This could be to a new to a new title, to a new job, to a new I don't know, I'm hearing placement. So, there's been an upgrade, a level up, okay? And that could also be why I'm getting like people are like, "Why how did you do that? How did you do that?" OK, the gossip about you is that you're truly a sincere person. I feel like people know that what you're what you're receiving in life is because you give to other people. You are truly an earth angel. You are truly, you know, heaven sent. OK, so it's like you deserve all of these things. And I feel like this is the gossip. People know this, but they would never tell you this. The seven of swords can also talk about like just being in your ego, like never letting Never letting this person know how really, you know, they inspire me or how great they are or, you know, how I find them to be the most beautiful, attractive person ever, you know, how I wish I had what they had. You know, there's people like this in your energy and this is really what's going on. Like people see and witness what you're being blessed with, what God and the universe is giving you right now. I see you being able to sit down and receive a fruitful basket, things that are just what you asked for, what you prayed for, okay? The magician, maybe you guys really, like, you once manifested this. There's something that you literally wrote down, you literally prayed for, you asked for, and you're receiving it. You're receiving a lot, and this is the gossip on you. People feel like you're walking away winning, and they're mad. People feel like you're walking away with the upper hand and they're mad. It's like you hold a lot of power too. You hold a lot of influence. Okay, we have the four of swords. 
So it's interesting how the four swords came out. And I mentioned about that slow morning. So there is something in your life that may feel like it's slow and steady. You know, like you could just relax or you can, you know, you have more control. All right. And this is the gossip on you. People feel like you have an easy life right now or things are getting easier for you. And it could also stem from them not being in your circle or being a part of your life and they know this you could have maybe recently cut someone off the magician is like yeah you walked away with the power or you walked away stating you know who you are stating your power stating your role okay i love this a robe could be relevant i don't know if someone could have just gotten a robe i see a red robe on this magician and then i see the queen of pentacles is wearing a red dress so that could be relevant yeah, it's like you you're letting people know like who's who's in the um upper hand or who has the power, who, you know, is in control. Okay, the high priestess. I can't. <laughs> I can't make it up. So yeah, you're receiving a lot, Ponomer three. You're receiving a lot, but there's there's just something about people wanting to know how, why, okay? Why why is it you before them? You know? Why why do you get this but not them? Like it is it's also um giving destiny is giving fate too. Like this was already a part of your life story. And maybe that's also why I got in the beginning you could be trying to hide something. You're not meant to hide. You're not meant to you're meant to be seen. That's what this is also saying. This is the gossip. So someone knows that your birthright or one of your purposes includes you being seen being recognized okay yeah uh-huh that's what i'm getting the four swords like you're meant to have a, a easy life like things are meant to be easy and relaxed for you you're not meant to be burdened okay the gossip on you too is that you could have recently cut someone off that was bringing burden burdensome energy i got that in pile number one but this the only difference in this energy is that i see you cut them off already the four swords could be blocking, could be withdrawing. Okay, yeah. Yeah, you chose your peace. That's what it is. This is the gossip. You chose your peace or you're choosing peace. So you're walking away being the bigger person. You're walking away with the upper hand. Okay, and this could also talk about walking away from a situation maturely. Okay, yeah. So we're going to jump into part number two. So if this is resonating with you, feel free to come on over to Patreon. Okay.